the 3070 Ti, what is it, how fast is it going to be, and is it still even coming out? Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So recently, a ton of people have been asking me questions about the RTX 3070 Ti. You know, when's it coming out? How many gigabytes of RAM is it going to have? How fast is it going to be? And how much is it going to cost? So, you know, I'm going to do my best to try and answer all of these questions according to everything that I know so far. So, you know, first starting off with the specs of this GPU, this comes from copite 7 kimi but a little bit ago, he posted the specs of what supposedly the RTX 3070 Ti is likely going to look like. And all we know so far is that it's going to be based off of either the GA102 or the GA103 GPU. It looks like more likely the GA102 GPU. Uh, it'll have likely 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 or G6X on a 320-bit bus running between 16 or 19 gigabits per second depending on if they use G6 or G6X. I personally believe it's probably going to use GDDR6 because it's going to have less shaders. And speaking of shaders, it's going to have supposedly 7,424 FP32 cores or as Nvidia likes to call them CUDA cores. Now of course that makes an incredibly powerful GPU, but in order to figure out just how powerful the RTX 3070 Ti could be, well, we need to actually compare it to a current GPU that's actually out there right now, or at least it should be out there, but you can't really buy it, and that's the RTX 3080, as that's the closest thing there is. So now, if we take a look at the RTX 3080 that has 8,704 CUDA cores or FP32 cores, and if we compare that to the RTX 3070 Ti's leaked specs, well, that would put the RTX 3080 as having 17% more shaders. Now, of course, having 17 17% more shaders doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be 17% faster, though it is likely going to be at least 10% faster. I wouldn't be surprised if it was roughly, you know, maybe 12% faster than the RTX 3070 Ti, but, you know, that gives you an idea of just how fast the 3070 Ti really could be. It could be an incredibly fast GPU, and if it has the same 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 or 6X, well, that makes it, you know, really, really good because you're talking about a GPU that's going to be probably less expensive than the RTX 3080, and it's going to come with the same amount of VRAM, and it's going to give you roughly the same amount of performance, just a little bit less. So it looks like it's going to be a very tempting card to purchase if it does end up coming in at the right price, and it's actually in stock, because Lord knows we've had a huge problem of getting any GPUs at the moment, but, you know, hopefully by the time it comes out, you'll actually be able to purchase it. But, you know, before we talk about the actual release date of this card, I quickly want to talk about the price. So, you know, there's been quite a few rumors going around of what the price could potentially be. I've seen people suggesting probably around $600 uh, in terms of US dollars and to me that sounds just about right because the RTX 3070 comes in at a price of 500 US dollars it's got 8 gigabytes of VRAM uh, the RTX 3080 is significantly faster than that it comes in at a price of 700 US dollars and it has 10 gigabytes of VRAM so if you take a, a 3070 Ti which is should be pa basically a spiritual replacer for the RTX 3080 well then that card pretty much has to come in at roughly $600 now there's a little uh, wiggle room there they could charge 650 or they could charge even a little bit less if they wanted but to me $600 sounds right uh, so I think those rumors are likely true and you're going to be able to purchase hopefully the RTX 3070 Ti somewhat soon for $600 US dollars before taxes and shipping which yeah that makes it a really awesome card to buy but you know speaking of being able to buy this card when's that actually going to be so right now we don't 100% know for sure when exactly the day you're going to be able to purchase an RTX 3070 Ti and heck we don't even know if the 3070 Ti is going to actually be released because although it's been heavily rumored it could end up getting canceled because you got to remember the RTX 3080 20 gigabyte model had been rumored for a very long time and it looks like it was either changed into the RTX 3080 Ti or maybe even altogether canceled but in any case to get the best idea of when this card's actually going to release we have to take a look at the RTX 3080 Ti which of course that hasn't released yet either but recently over on videocards.com there was an article posted that suggested that the RTX 3080 Ti was essentially delayed so you know the 30 380 Ti, originally the leaks and rumors were suggesting that it would be releasing sometime between January and February. Of course, we're into January. It hasn't happened yet. It looks like, according to this article, that it's likely not going to happen in February yet either. The reason for that being that there's just simply not enough supply of the RTX 3080, 3070, and 3060 Ti around as it is. So, you know, introducing another SKU, I think NVIDIA just realized that's probably not the right move right now. So, you know, this GPU is likely going to be, you know, pushed 
back at least a couple of months. So the way I see it is that you're probably not going to see the RTX 3080 Ti until at least April. And the reason why uh, I believe that that's relevant is that you're definitely not going to see, at least in my opinion, the RTX 3070 Ti until the 3080 Ti has hit the market because there's just simply no reason to put out another GA102 die or even a GA103 die when you're actually not even able to keep up with the RTX 3080 and 3090 orders. I mean, as long as there's RTX 3090 selling for $15 to $1,800 and you just can't even make enough of them, people are buying them so fast, it does not make any sense whatsoever to produce that same GA102 die that just has some defects and produce it for $600. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever from a business perspective, so my guess is they're going to try and take every single good GA102 die they can get and put it in RTX 3090 because if you could sell it for $600, that's great, but if you can sell it for $1,500 plus, well, that's way, way better. And, you know, of course, there's always the RTX 3080, which is in super short supply as well. So, you know, I, again, I think that my tinfoil hat uh, belief around the RTX 3080 is just because not only is there way more demand for the RTX 3080, but I also believe that, like I mentioned earlier, with so much demand for the RTX 3090, there's just no reason to produce more RTX 3080s unless you absolutely have to. So the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3090, they are on the same GA102 die, much like the RTX 3070 Ti likely will be. And what that means is that in order to produce an RTX 3080, there essentially needs to be a defective RTX 3090 die. So, you know, as long as the GPUs aren't actually defective, why make more RTX 3080s? And if you're not going to make more RTX 3080s, you're certainly not going to make any more RTX 3070 Ti's, at least not until AMD pushes them to. So, you know, unless AMD suddenly comes out of nowhere and starts producing an insane amount of GPUs, I just don't see any reason as to why Nvidia would produce the RTX 3070 Ti until at least May and maybe even not until July of 2021. So yeah, we could be a little bit of a ways off for the RTX 3070 Ti. So if you're someone who's sitting there and you do have an opportunity to buy an RTX 3080 near MSRP, we're not talking thousand dollars here. If you can see it anywhere close to $700 right now, uh, yeah, you're probably better off not waiting for the RTX 3070 Ti because although of course it will be much better value than the RTX 3080, and it'll give you the same amount of VRAM, the same 10 gigabytes. Well, you could be waiting a very, very long time and you got to remember with these leaks and rumors, although people are, you know, pretty confident that the 3070 Ti does exist, I'm pretty confident at least, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's guaranteed. So we could be coming into May, we could be even coming into July, and there's just nothing to be heard of the 3070 Ti anymore. It could end up getting canceled. So then you could have waited all of that time and you could have already had an RTX 3080 for months if you actually have the opportunity to get it. Of course, I know they're very difficult to get, so you might not have any choice but to wait. But if you do have a choice, yeah, you are better off not waiting and then potentially being disappointed as, again, it's not guaranteed. But, you know, hey, either way, I think that the RTX 3070 Ti is going to come out. I think it's going to be an awesome GPU. We just got to get through these next couple of months here, even next, you know, four or five months of the mining craze of the shortages. And then as soon as all this stuff is over, you should start seeing, you know, TI refreshes, maybe even super refreshes. You know, 3080 Ti should be coming out. So there's going to be a lot of exciting GPU releases coming out in the not so distant future. But it looks like those plans have mostly been postponed for just a little bit longer here as there's just not enough supply to go around. NVIDIA just needs to meet the demand of the RTX 3080 and those other cards like I mentioned. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the RTX 3070 Ti? Do you think it's going to come out sooner than I suggested? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.